Howdy, your tube. I'm back. You know, ever since the election, I was struggling, tossing around the idea of doing a YouTube video with regard to that topic. I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to sit back and watch the show. It's been very entertaining. From the debates to the race to 270 to the election and to everything else that's been transpiring on a daily basis. Where do I start? How about let's start here. The Democrats are scared to death. It's one of the reasons why this stuff is going on. Like I said, it's just one of the reasons. I figure the Republicans have both houses. They control the Capitol. They control the presidency. They have a lot of states. The Democrats are out of power. Republicans are in power now. Got a lot of people scared because they're. Man, I got ghosts in here. Y'all see that behind me? <laughs> uh, um, I see short people. No, you don't. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. Um, no, where was I? Yeah. But now to read. Thank you very much. But now the Republicans are in charge. They've got control of that horse. Oh! Last time I checked, Constitution, or what is it, the Pledge of Allegiance? Which one is it? Pledge of Allegiance to the land. Yeah, the Pledge of Allegiance. There's a phrase in there where it says, To the Republic for which it stands. See, I've always equated to the Republic with Republican. I don't recall seeing the word democracy or Democrat anywhere. I mean, who, who started that anyway? You know what I'm saying? Which, by the way, they're trying to shove down every country's throat. Oh, oh, and they don't want it. Historical note. Let's go back to the Civil War. What party was in bed with and or started the KKK? Here's a big hint for you. It wasn't the Republicans. A lot of y'all didn't know that, did you? I didn't. But I found out because I research. I watch. I listen. Just like, well, on a side note, like when you all go to school, George Washington was the first president of the United States. No, he wasn't. But they ain't going to teach you the real first president of the United States was John Hanson. And you know what color he was? He was a Moor, if I'm not mistaken. And there were, what, six more after him that were... How come the schools don't teach that? In this republic, this democracy, Oh, that's right. They want to teach lies to show that a specific group of people are in charge and been in charge, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. I know. Man, I'm back to Trump. Recently, oh, who was it? Bernie Sanders and some female, I don't know what her name is, off the top of my head. Now, all of a sudden, there's a problem with the Electoral College. One wants to get rid of it. Why? Because Trump was elected? 
See, if Hillary was elected, no problem. Nothing wrong with the electoral system. Worked fine. But now Trump got it. Oh, man, there's something wrong. Oh, we need to fix it. But they've been using it for over 100 years, right? Huh? Give or take, something like that. But now there's something wrong with it? No, it's something wrong with the people that were in charge. Some of y'all see that. And some of y'all still... <coughs> still sound asleep. Oh, let me say this. Some of y'all say that's TMI, but you know me. I don't have a problem saying what I want to say when I want to say it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't vote because of the Electoral College. I know how this stuff works. If I had voted, it had been for Trump. Hey, yo, whoop, there he is. I would never have voted for Hillary. Why? Uh, hmm. Clinton Foundation. Look at Haiti. Look at that mess. How come nobody protests, protests Haiti? What's, what happened there? The people that did that. Nobody protesting that? Huh? 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 Another reason? Or I wouldn't vote for her because I'm a veteran. So, for all you vets out there know what I'm talking about, I got one word. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, Benghazi. See, I've heard tell that it is, it's been said that Trump and Putin may be the two to upset the elitist system. Woo! Them fighting words. See, Trump is an elitist, but he's not an elite elite. You got the Rockefellers, the Bilderbergs, the big bankers, you know, all those families, the ones that's the puppet masters. He's not up there. He's what you might call a subclass elite with his own money. Oh, hey, how about that? That's another reason why they are scared. Regardless of his bankruptcies, regardless of whatever his financial situation may be or may have been, he got his own loot. Can't control him. You see how that system works? Mm -hmm. Some of y'all do, and some of y'all don't. I just don't get it. Protesting because Trump is in office. What? What is wrong with you, damn people? Um, uh, when they elected a person of color, talking about Obama, where were the protesters? Where? Where were you? Nobody protested that. Or was it because he was a Democrat? Or is a Democrat? Hmm? Is that why y'all didn't protest? I'm pretty sure. Hell to the chief, hell to the chief. Trump is in there. Y'all just got to deal with it. Give the man a chance. Y'all give everybody else a chance. Think about a guy that used to be in office, Bill Clinton, and that scandal. So what are they trying to pull over on, hold over Trump's head? Oh, that he grabbed a, a breast or two? 
grabbed a, a handful of, of rear end. Really? Is that the best that, that, that people could do? Did the media and the Democrats? Oh, he fondled some women. Man, we're going to use the media and, and blow that up. People are going to despise him. So you mean to tell me that men and women out there have never fondled someone in their lifetime somewhere? Right. Oh, well, Trump, he didn't pay any taxes. Really? Is that the best y'all could do? To hold something over his head? He took advantage of a system that allowed the elites to take advantage of the system. I ain't mad at him. Like some of you out there ain't never took advantage of the system in some form or fashion in your lifetime. You bumped your damn head. Face it, we live in a use or be used society. Oh, Democrats is scared. Now, here, hold on. I'm neither Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a liberal. I am none of that. None of the above. I'm human. Living on a flat earth. So I vote where it really counts. Up there. Beyond the dome. What else is going on now? It's like in the past, yes, today or yesterday, past couple of days. Now, all these students are walking out of classrooms. They're closing institutions of learning. I mean, <laughs> institutions of lies. Um, what is wrong with you people? What, what, what the hell is wrong with you people? All because Trump is elected. Everybody's got a stick up their ass. Because I can guarantee you, if Hillary had won, wouldn't nobody have been protesting? All the students have still been in class. Would have been no free flights to Canada. Nothing. It'd have been business as usual. Now I'll tell you something, they were right when they said to Trump. Uh -uh. When they said to Trump, this is historical. Mind you, Trump is a businessman. He has no political or military experience. He ran against a political system, right? The last time in history that happened was the gentleman who was a businessman, no political, no military, ran against Roosevelt. He lost against Roosevelt, but that's the last time it happened. I might have been the only time that ever happened in history. So what happened with Trump is historic. A businessman beat the system. Playing their own game. Whoop, there it is. And he played their own game. Excuse me, he played their game with his own money, honey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's why I say it's been a show for me, just watching this stuff unfold. The madness of people. Now Trump is right when he says all these assaults and attacks, it needs to stop. 
He has some point. Well, now that I said that, let me say this. If Hillary had gotten office, she was going to open up the borders to what? Millions of refugees? Now, I don't have a problem against refugee as it's defined. But as a result of what the Democrats did, specifically this current administration regarding ISIS, which is really ISIL, which was really created by us and Israel. Hello? You got it? I hope so, because I just lost my whole train of thought where I was going with that. Uh, ooh, I hate when the train jumps the track like that. That's what happens when you start getting gray sometimes. You forget stuff. Anyway. Man, I'm sitting there trying to think. Well, I don't want too much dead space. Dead airspace. Man, what was I saying? What was I about to say? What was I saying? Uh, you're talking about like... Um... Oh, he, he forgot. How about that? He, you shouldn't be forgetting nothing with your age. Anyway. <laughs> uh, man, I can't. What was I saying? Oh, I hate that when that happens. Uh, I know some of y'all out there do too. I, 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 I know. I was talking about ISIL and the creators of it. But I forgot where I was, what my point was, where I was going with it. Anyway. Uh, doggone it, I hate that. Let me just pick up, maybe it'll come back to me. Yeah, but all that nonsense really does need to stop. Oh, there we go. Uh, I forgot how I was going to tie it in, though. So I just pick up. What I want to ask you all out there. When you are a little itty baby in this world, I mean, not in it, but on it, are you a racist? Oh, I just remembered what I was going to say. Oh, I hope I let me keep that point in my head before I forget again. But are you a racist when you're born? No. It's learned behavior. You have the old heads teaching the young heads their ridiculous bullshit. Take it a step further, where did they get it? They got it from a system that is pushing divide and conquer down our throats. I love everybody on this planet. Oh, see, I use that ugly word, planet. I'm a flat earther, you know, from my research, observation, and understanding. We don't live on a ball. So I hate using the word. I'm trying to unlearn the lies. But on this, in this place where we reside, uh, the system taught us to divide and conquer. They put it, they shove it in our heads, shove it in your, shove it in your, shove it in your, in your psyche, in your soul, your heart, your everything. And then you just regurgitate it to the young ones. I mean, when's the last time anybody saw an infant born and the infant's laying there and he goes, Zekiah? Yeah, anybody ever seen something like that? When was the last time you seen an infant laying there and he goes, you don't see that kind of stuff. All that stuff is learned and or conditioned behavior. We all need to go back to that infantile state, that mentality where we love everyone. But we ain't going to get there as long as we, as we have jackasses in charge. Now, back to what I remembered. 
what I was mentioning in the ISIS and all that stuff, ISIL stuff. All these attacks on certain ethnic groups that's going on because of Trump said he's shipping them out. You got to go. Hillary was going to open the door. Everybody, come on in. Come on in. There's plenty of room. Now, like I think I did say this. I have no problem with refugee as it's defined. But because of what's going on regarding this entity that was created, we don't know what's on a person's mind. Until they run up into your to the subway eating a sandwich at and boom because they were a suicide bomb. It is what it is. Let's face it, we do have a lot of undesirables in this country. Huh? Before you get your panties in a knot, there are a lot of undesirables everywhere in every country. Think about it. How was Australia created? Because England got rid of their undesirables. Remember that? Mm -hmm. For those of you who forgot. But that nonsense needs to stop. It does. It's madness. It's like people, I mean, is Trump's election just, was it the fluoride you've been drinking in your water? Or, or what, what happened? Did they flick the big switch at CERN? Okay, when he's elected, when they say he's in, hit the switch. Three, two, they hit the switch and everybody just went, ah! oh shit, Trump's in office. What the fuck? I'm not one of those. When they flipped that switch, didn't affect me because when they got when they said he's in, I went yes. Fuck Hillary. That's what I said. Benghazi. Now. Mind you, he can either do better or do worse. Some may equate it to the lesser of two evils. Okay, well, which one was the lesser of two evils? You see, people can play those, those games all day long, every day. Was Hillary the lesser of two evils? In some people's opinion, yes. Was Trump the lesser of two evils? In some people's opinion, yes. It is what it is. Give him a chance. You got four years to figure it out. You know, you got these things right here. This, this, this. Do some research, do some homework. Start figuring stuff out. Wake up. Huh? What? Yeah, I just I just wanna say, yeah, give them just a chance. I don't know if they can hear you where the microphone's oh. right here. Please give them a chance. They can't see you. Oh. Oh. Bring your big old nugget in here so they can see you. Where are you? Okay. Oh Lord, Lord we <laughs> Bring them a just give him a chance. Like I mean, he just been out of office for like one week. Just give him a chance. He hasn't done anything bad. He hasn't done anything good. Just let him give him a chance. He might do something good. He might do something bad. Yeah, just like all the former presidents. Do good stuff, do bad stuff. Hey, see that? I think there's a phrase in that book they call a Bible. From the mouth of babes.
societally speaking, I think as we age as a society, we get dumber and dumber and dumber. It's like nobody learns the, the lessons of the past. It just comes right back around, smacks you right, wham, smacks you right upside the head. Because you didn't learn about it, figure it out, so you're doomed to repeat it. I mean, like a pyramid, for example. Uh, how come nobody has really built one with all our technology? Sure, you can build a frame, pyramid, pyramidal structure, but who has actually built a pyramid with all our technology? So, you mean they were smarter than us back then? And we can't figure it out. Hmm. Oh well. See, I saw off on a tangent, but man, what else has happened? That's just just nonsensical. Aside from the electoral college, Bernie Sanders electoral college. Oh, what else? I don't know. As days goes on, I'm sure some more stuff is gonna happen. Oh. Hmm? I on the news I saw that um it said breaking news or something like that and it said Trump is going on a family on and not telling anybody about it. Oh yeah, yeah, I think that was smart, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. For those who haven't heard that. It said Trump family went out to dinner and didn't tell the press where he was going. You know what I say to you, Trump? Good man. Ain't none of their damn business where you gonna go eat. Media Leave him alone. He might have been going to get some sushi and wants you to know. Or some chitlins and collard greens. Well, that doesn't matter. Point is, you're not in a damn business. It's like the media is the new paparazzi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to say that. The media is just paparazzi, parent paparazzi. You got the freelancers out there to get smacked or hit or punched every now and then. You catch those surprising photographs, but you got, yeah, that's a good one. The media, is paparazzi, just on a different level. Anyway, folks, I don't want to belabor this point. I just wanted to chime in and offer my, my opinion And if you don't like my opinion, it's on you. Everybody's entitled to one. Because you know you're going to get thumbs down. You know they got this little thing like this over there. You always get thumbs down from people. I mean, people are just that desensitized or they just don't want to hear a person share their opinion or hear some truths that that person may have. As soon as they hear one truth, it's like, oh, there goes my paradigm. Oh, thumbs down. Oh. That's what I got. How about finger up? Because I'm like Trump. I'm going to say what I want to say when I want to say it. Don't like it? Tough fondling. Feel me? All right, folks. Till next time or unless something else happens in this, this sideshow, this, this entertaining. <laughs> I'm, I, know, I, I need to come up with a catchphrase. Like Trump du Soleil, you know, Cirque du Soleil, Trump du Soleil, or Democrat Flamblé, you know, something, something. I need a catchphrase. Truth the life? Huh? Truth the life? The what? Truth the life. Truth the life. I'm sure somebody's already got that one locked down. Anyway, folks, this has been me coming at you. Oh, wait a minute. 
just so I don't have to make another video, or should I just put it on another video? Because it's a completely separate topic. Um, uh, nah, it's a completely separate topic. Yeah, I better leave that one for another time. Anyway, folks, till next time, love you all. And look, some of you out there may not like what I have to say. That's fine. Some of you out there love what I have to say. Thank you. Bottom line, I love you all. Whether I have pleasing words or harsh words, I love you all. I love my family, my flat earth family. Till next time, peace.